What's good, YouTubers and YouTubettes? This is JB Sports back again with another one. Jake Paul, aka the problem child, has a big problem on his hands. As his opponent, Tommy Fury, he so efficiently calls Tommy Fumbles, is about to fumble the bag once again. As we know, the first time he pulled out of the fight with Tommy Fury, he ended up taking on Tyron Woodley in the rematch. He pulled out of that fight with a chest infection and a broken rib. Now, the broken rib could have easily been verified in a medical document. Now, the chest infection, that's what you uh, can be diagnosed by a doctor, but that's not something that's going to show up on an x-ray. I don't even think it'll show up on an MRI or nothing like that, but that's just something that the doctor can diagnose. Say, hey, man, you got a chest infection or something like that. I guess you could do an x-ray and you can see some kind of uh, infection that's inside the chest area. So all that could have been uh, verified. I don't know if it was or if it wasn't, but this is the second time that Tommy Fury looks to be not taking on Jake Paul. We will see what happens. We will see what transpires. Now, uh, Jake Paul ain't trying to hit. He like, look here, man. You trying to wheeze your way out of this fight once again. You know, you need to uh, take the necessary steps so you can gain interest here in the U.S. You knew this long before today. You're going to wait till the day before the press conference to say, oh, man, I can't get in the U.S., man. They won't allow me, man. I'm closely affiliated with Daniel Kennehan. Now, Daniel Kennehan is a guy that runs MTK Global. Now, I don't know if this is the case with Daniel Kennehan, but he was running a legitimate company called MTK Global. Now, sometimes when you do illegal activities and you do shady things, you use legal businesses, legal businesses to cover up your shady and illegal activities. I'm not saying MTK Global was doing that, but people that were signed to MTK Global, Tyson Fury is one fighter, and Tommy Fury is obviously another fighter. They've had several fighters. Now, it was rumored that Terrence Crawford had signed with MTK Global. Hopefully, that's not the case, because that could be another roadblock in preventing the biggest fight here in the U.S. from happening. Hopefully in October, that is Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford. With all that being said, Tommy Fury is banned in the USA. I was banned in the USA. I was banned in the USA. I tried to get my visa clean. It didn't happen. I was banned in the USA. I was yeah, man, he man in the USA, man. Can't get in, man. And if I'm uh, Jay Paul and his team, man, I'm looking to reverse course and secure another opponent. Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. said he wanted 50-50. Try to throw that same contract at him and see if you can get him to bite. If he don't want to take the uh, contract, I'm sure Addison Silva would take that $2 million. And let's fight, man. I think those two fights actually are more intriguing matchups. So we will see what happens, and we will see what transpires. But Tommy Fury, a.k.a. The Mummy, once again, it looks like he's going to fumble the bag and not get the fight that he's been clamoring for. Evidently, he's been clamoring for it, but Jake Paul said he really don't want no smoke. And it's basically smoking mirrors, him acting like he wants to fight, and he acting like that he's been stalking uh, Jake Paul. He fought on Jake Paul's undercard in the first Tyron Woodley fight, and he really been uh, looking to uh, end that hype job called Jake Paul. Jake Paul say, nah, he really don't want no smoke. He pulled out of the first fight with a Fugazi injury. That rib injury was a Fugazi, and the chest infection was a Fugazi. He didn't want no smoke. The shit talking got to him, and now he's trying to uh, save face using uh, I can't get in the U.S. as an excuse. You know, you remember his dad came out about a week and a half ago and saying that, hey, why don't we move this fight to the U.K. or move it to somewhere else outside the U.S. because I can't get in due to my criminal history. I gouged a man's eyeball out of his head. So I am a known criminal. And the U.S. Department of Treasury, which has denied access to Tommy and Tyson, had already denied access to their father, John. The Fury family, that's quite a trifecta, them three guys right there. So we will see what happens. And we will see what transpires. But Jake Paul, I think you need to reverse course and look for another opponent. Look to secure another opponent, man, because uh, there's an old saying that is very prevalent for this video, and that is, fool me once, shame on you. 
Fool me twice, shame on me. It ain't even a thing about baseball. You know what I said? One, two, three strikes you out. It's like one, two. Now let's let's go on move into another direction. We're not gonna even get to a third strike. I see what time it is with you. You know, you trying to maneuver and play games and you know, make it look like you wanna fight, but you really don't wanna fight. You really wanna uh, <laughs> get the fight over there in the UK with your father there in your corner. You don't have a lot of confidence in your own abilities. You need your father there to uh, give you that extra boost in a fight that you say you're gonna easily be able to defeat me, knock me out. Why would you need that? I offered uh, a 50-50 proposition where I wouldn't have my train in my corner. You wouldn't have your train in your corner. We just go mano a mano, solo, dolo, Scarface, no Manolo. See what I'm saying? But he he saw that and he tried to say, okay, right, let's fight. And then now here it is, a day before the press conference, I can't gain interest. So I think um, <laughs> Jake Paul is peeping game and think this boy knew he wasn't going to take the fight once his father was unable to be in his corner. But he tried to save face and make it look like it when uh, <laughs> Jake Paul called him out on that, saying that we don't have to have training. We can just fight one-on-one -on -one and we can uh, do it that way. First time probably in boxing history you have a sanctioned fight with fighters fighting with no trainers. And uh, Tommy didn't want to look weak, so he came in with a plan B, saying, okay, yeah, okay, okay, I'll be there, we'll fight, we'll fight. You know, I agree to the fight. And then here it is the day before you say, I can't get into the U.S. You knew that beforehand, you should have took the necessary steps to take care of that and gain access here into the United States. So it's all about, uh, in Jake Paul's eyes, a guy that don't really want to fight without his father. So we will see what happens and we will see what transpires. Let me know your thoughts about the whole Tommy Fury, Jake Paul situation. You think Jake Paul should maybe postpone the fight or move the fight overseas so, so that fight can finally go down or you think he should need, 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 need to do like I say he should do, move into another direction and secure another opponent, either Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. or Allison Silva. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Follow me on Facebook, Gerard.Briscoe.3551. Like, share, and subscribe to JB Sports, the man, the myth, the legend, and I holler.